It works. Alright folks, sorry it's been a while since I've been here with the vlog, but it has been crazy at work and also the weather has been crazy here in Annapolis, Maryland. It's the one moment when it's not raining. It's been raining for like the last week and it's actually going to rain for the upcoming week. Let me show you the forecast. Look at that. Every day rain. Every day. So right now I have a small window of time to talk to you and show you the progress on the boat and also to show you how we can convert the fluorescent lighting to an LED. First, a quick update. You'll see behind me that I have started to paint the bottom of the boat. That's about probably the last project I'm going to do before getting this boat in the water. You can see behind me that I've done a little less than half of the bottom paint. That's because it started to rain. I haven't been able to get back at it. I'm waiting for that one clear sunny day that I can come out here and finish the bottom. Hopefully within the next two or three days and I can get this boat in the water in about a week. I keep saying that, but really the timeline is happening now. Okay, just to let you know for some of you newbies, uh, the bottom, you have to paint the bottom paint every year or two. It's called anti-fouling bottom paint. That keeps the growth and the different things off of the bottom when it's in the water because when their boat is in the water things like to grow on the bottom uh, algae and little 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 animals I can't now I'm blanking on the name of these things but you need to do the bottom paint I use the anti-fouling ablative bottom paint you will never believe how much this stuff costs I'll give you two seconds I'll give you five seconds to guess guess how much one gallon of this bottom paint cost. This paint, this stuff here was $225 for one gallon of paint. And I'm probably going to have to use more than a gallon because I'm already about a half out and I'm not even halfway through with the boat. Crazy. All right. Let's look at a couple of other things I've done just to show you. I know that some of you had mentioned in the comments that you want to see boat maintenance. So I want to show you what I did last week. I had to get a guy from the boat yard to help me with this project. This is called the cutlass bearing. This here is the shaft of your propeller, right? The propeller here, this has a folding propeller. It opens when you have the force going and when you spin it with the engine engine turns this shaft turns a propeller right here you have something called a cutlass bearing you see that little white piece that is the cutlass bearing I will show you the old one actually let me see if I can show you something I got this I got my cell phone flashlight you can see inside there that it's pretty worn out and how you can tell when you're doing a test of how these cutlass bearings wear over the years is you come up here and you push up and down and if there's movement in this bearing okay if there's movement right there when you shake it that means it's worn out and you need to get a new one which this one was so I had help getting this in and it was a big pain because you had to take the propeller off then you take the uh, crazy contraption that actually squeezes this out. There's videos on YouTube of people doing this, but essentially a contraption that squeezes this all out and then you replace the new one from the other side. Okay, so that's one project I've been doing. Now I want to show you what I wanted to make this video about, which is how to convert uh, a fluorescent light that's in a typical boat or even a house. We're going to be obviously working with 12 volt because we're on a boat. And then we're going to convert that to uh, an LED replacement bulb. Let's do that now. Let's climb aboard. We're in the cabin now and I want to show you the fluorescent fixture right here that I want to replace. Well, I'm not going to replace it. I'm going to modify it so that it will work with an LED bulb. I went on to Amazon and I searched for, well, I measured this, it's a 12 inch fluorescent bulb. So I searched for a 12 inch fluorescent replacement LED bulb. And I got this in the mail. And it is a four watt power consumption 
whereas the fluorescent bulb is 8 watts. So the idea behind LED is obviously to save power, especially when you're in a boat with limited battery power. But the fluorescent fixture is not just an easy you know, plug and play with the new bulb. And I'll explain why. Fluorescent lights are really made of gases inside this bulb. And in order to ignite those gases, there's a special electronic piece that's included in the fixtures. This is, this is the same if it's in a house, if it's in a boat, an RV. All fluorescent fixtures are the same. They have what is called a ballast. Taking off this fixture, I'll be able to show you. Unplug the wires right here. Here's our, here's our positive and negative wires. But this is the fixture. Now the issue is right here. This circuit board looking thing is the ballast or the starter, which actually uh, modifies the current in order to properly start the fluorescent bulb. Not needed, and actually it won't work with an LED bulb. Let me show you a little experiment I worked up using my car battery to demonstrate this. I've got my jumper cable set up to my car battery. Now, I know what you're thinking. I'm crazy and this is dangerous. Not really. A 12 volt battery is not gonna really hurt you. It might sting you a little bit, not really. It's not gonna be like the 120 volt inside your house. I'm gonna show you that using the old fluorescent bulb, see if it will see if it will turn on. So we have our positive and a negative. Ah, nothing, nothing's happening. Nothing's happening because we don't have that ballast that's controlling the current. So it will not work just with direct current from the 12 volt positive and negative. Let's take the LED on the other hand. Put one end against the positive and the other end against the negative. Yeah! It works. It works like a charm. So you don't need that ballast to work the LED. All you need is the positive, positive, and negative directly going into each side, and you're good to go. So what we need to do is we need to get rid of this ballast so we can have a direct line from positive and negative going straight into each end of the bulb without this ballast kind of messing up the current. Let's go back to the house and we will figure out how we can take this uh, ballast off and rewire this fixture. All right, we're back at the house and this is our fixture and I'm gonna show you a list of supplies we're gonna to need to modify this thing and make it work with LED. First thing we do is we take off this ballast circuit, cut off these little connectors and make sure not to break the plastic outer shell fixture part. There we go, let's trash that. Now you see these two wires, both of these wires go to the same end of the fixture. We can twist these later into one connection and they will both go into one of the power supply wires on the boat. We can tear out the remaining part of this ballast. Now I cut the ends of these wires just to prep it. This other side where the switch is located will be slightly more complicated. This is where we have to solder in some new pieces of wire. Here we can see the switch. You can see the underside where it bridges the connection when switching on and breaks the connection when switching off. I will connect this side of the switch to go to the two terminals that will touch the light bulb. Then for the other side of the switch, I will put in a longer wire to connect to the boat power supply. This way the boat power supply will only turn on the light when the switch is turned on. Okay, let's start soldering. When you only have two hands, you might have to improvise to get that first connection. Soldering is interesting. I'm not a pro, but you really only need a small amount to make a solid solder. And let it cool for a few seconds before you release the pliers. Let's connect the other side of that wire to the bulb fixture part. Now we have our smallest piece soldered in place. Let's connect the other terminal to the same source. Here's the other small piece. Now solder this in place in the same manner. I'll put a little extra on the side to make sure the wire is securely in place. 
Now the other side of that same wire goes to the light bulb terminal. Now the final piece, it's the longer wire that will go to the boat's power source. And there we have it. To recap, we have this longer wire that goes to the boat's power, and then it runs on the other end to the terminal of the on and off switch. Then when the switch gets turned on, it will bridge the connection with the other side. Then our short wires here will power up the bulb fixture terminals. This side, as I mentioned, will simply get twisted as one, and it will connect to the other source wire from the boat. So now that we've modified the fixture, let's go back to the boat and see if it works. All right, back on the boat, and lo and behold, today, even though the forecast said otherwise, the sun is out in full effect, and I'm gonna get this done quickly so I can get back to the bottom paint. We took off the ballast, soldered these pieces so that way the switch would work properly. Now we have this wire going into our positive. These two wires are gonna to go to our negative, and I'm gonna plug those in. I also found these other little gizmos in my toolbox, which are these little adapters that will actually fit these that are already on this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crimp these onto these wires and then we should be able to plug it in and then we're gonna see if it works. Now the moment of truth. We're gonna see if this works. I got the LED bulb here. The light bulb is in. Will it turn on? It works. It works. All right, there we have it. So that's the project for the day. We have now successfully converted a fluorescent fixture so we can now use an LED bulb and we can conserve energy. You can do this at home. It's not that difficult. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And check out my new Patreon page, which I will link below. Yes, I'm going to be jobless and homeless, and I'm doing the jumping on the bandwagon of doing the Patreon page. So check it out. More vlogs to come. I have two more weeks of work left, and then I will be completely devoted to the sailboat and to the vlogging. So thanks for watching. Let's get back to the bottom paint and get this boat in the water at the end of this week. Thanks again. It works. Hit my head on the uh, bulkhead there.